Gutters play an important role in protecting your home from water damage. They help stop flooding at your foundation and prevent exterior walls from staining by rain runoff. In this video, we'll show you how to install a pre-hung box gutter system on a metal roof. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying factory direct. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. In this video, we will cover box gutter end cap, downspout dropout, splicing gutters, installing underlayment and fastening, and gutter straps. Prior to installation, proper underlayment should be installed. For step-by-step -step videos on these projects and more, check out our channel. If you like what you see, show your support by hitting like and subscribe. Box gutter end cap installation. Using clamps, secure your gutter end cap in its position. Next, pre-drill holes for your rivets on the top and bottom of each side. Make sure holes penetrate box gutter end cap flaps. Unclamp your end cap and place silicone sealant along the inside edge of your gutter. Reposition the gutter cap and fasten it using rivets. Wipe off any excessive silicone sealant on exterior of gutter. Additional silicone sealant should be placed along the inside seams of the cap. Downspout Dropout Installation Once you have determined the downspout location, start by tracing the dropout outline onto the lower section of your gutter. Using a step drill bit, make a hole at the center of your outline. Using metal cutting snips, begin cutting out the traced square. Place silicone sealant around the perimeter of the interior cutout. Drop the downspout outlet into its position and secure it using three rivets on each side of the gutter. Additional silicone sealant should be placed around the perimeter and at any rivet penetration. Installation of Gutter Splice for Pre-Hung Box Gutter If you're installing a gutter on a long stretch of roof, you'll most likely need to join two gutter sections together. This is done using a 12-inch gutter splice. The gutter splice is installed on the outside of where the two gutter sections meet. It should be placed in the middle, 6 inches from each section. Using your splice, make an outline 6 inches from the end of your gutter. Make an additional outline three inches from the end. This is where you will apply silicone sealant and rivets. Apply silicone sealant along the three inch outline. Carefully position your splice in its position by aligning it with the six inch outline. Temporarily secure it using clamps. Rivets will be used to secure the splice. Start by measuring 3 inches from the splice edge. This mark will help ensure that your rivets are installed along the same line as your silicone sealant. Three rivets should be placed on each side of the splice.
Next, pre-drill two holes on the lower end of the gutter, where you will install two more rivets. Fasten the gutter section to your roof using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Prepare the adjacent gutter piece by applying silicone sealant one inch from the edge. Carefully drop the gutter into the splice. You want to leave a quarter inch gap between the two sections to allow for expansion. Fasten the second section of gutter using pancake screws 12 inches on center. A single rivet should be placed on the top section of the splice into the newly installed section of gutter. Apply silicone sealant along the interior seam of the gutter splice and all interior rivets. Pre-hung box gutter, installing underlayment and fastening. Gutter should be fastened using pancake screws. The most common distance is 12 inches on center. Consult an engineer prior to fastening as local codes vary. An eight inch strip of self-adhesive underlayment should be placed two inches from the edge after the gutter has been fastened. For additional support, gutter straps are installed after the roof panels have been installed. Gutter straps. A common distance is placing straps every three feet. However, you should consult an engineer to determine proper spacings as it varies depending on location and rain load. Place your strap in its position and mark the edge of your roof line. Place an additional mark on where the screw will be placed. Next, bend the strap at the marked line to the angle of your roof. Next, pre-drill the gutter and strap. Prior to drilling, you'll want to hook the strap onto the gutter open hem. Attach the strap using a lap screw to the high seam of your roofing panel. Pre-drill the gutter and strap. Attach the lower section of the strap to the gutter using a lap screw. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe.